The Alliance for the Future of Agriculture in Nebraska's annual meeting is underway in downtown Lincoln. The organization is sharing its accomplishments and what's being done to grow agriculture in the state. Here Nebraska's John Vanderford is standing by live with more. Hey John. Yeah, we are here now with Eugene Gehring and he is with the Nebraska Soybean Board and it's good to see you this morning. Good to be here. Yes. Beautiful day to be indoors. You are right about that, that's for sure. Uh, we like the rain, but it's nice and cool, good to be in here. And we are at the AFAN annual meeting. I wanted to ask you, first of all, you're a soybean producer, how did the harvest go? Well, we had a interesting harvest. We had a lot of extreme, too hot, too cold, too wet, too dry, and we harvested and we had, a, I think, a good harvest. I was very happy. Mm -hmm. uh, the harvest went smooth. We didn't have many interruptions. and. and uh, Yields were adequate, so it was a good harvest. Do you do irrigation? Do you do dry land? We have mostly all irrigated. Okay. Uh, we saw some extremes. We had some of our best yields under some of our irrigated pivots, and we had some dry land corners that were some of the worst I'd ever seen. So uh -huh. a little bit of everything. Oh, man. Okay. So we are talking a little bit about what you do as part of the soybean board. What does the soybean board do? Well, in generalities, the soybean board is an elected board representing farmers in Nebraska, the soybean farmers, were elected to invest the checkoff funds that are generated by the sale of soybeans. Uh, our goal is to improve the soybean production in the state of Nebraska and across the country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know that you also are always looking for markets for soybeans. I'm actually on the d demand committee and uh, so we were excited with groups like AFAM that help promote the use of soybean meal and animal agriculture. But uh, we look at all, all a variety of areas with the biodiesel and the fuels is a big thing. Uh, we've worked with uh, some of the different groups that help develop more crush capacity in Nebraska. We're excited, two new crush plants coming on that haven't had occurred for over 40 years. And we have a third one or a fourth one possibly coming on in the state. So. As we crush more beans, there's more meal. Our, our job gets to find a home for all that meal and all that oil, so it's a good thing. Pretty exciting It's right exciting now. times right now in mm. soybeans. It does seem to be that markets are continuing to grow and expand for soybeans, so. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, enjoy it. And telling us about what's going on with soybeans and, and the harvest, is it over? Are you all done now? Yeah, our harvest goes over timely and we got some fall uh, fertilizer done, so we're, in good shape okay. heading into the winter. Sounds good. Thank you, Thank Gene, you. for yep. being here today. Yep. You bet. All right, and we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio, and we will have more here from the 8th Fan Annual Meeting a little bit later. All right, sounds good. Thank you, John.